Less than a month ago, she was named Miss Florida 2019. Claremont native Michaela McLean took home the crown, competing as Miss Florida Citrus. The 21-year-old was among 40 contestants in the five-day competition in Lakeland, and now she's heading to the Miss America 2.0 pageant. She joins us this morning, and she's here to tell us about her journey to win the Miss Florida crown. Yes. I can't believe this has been so fun to get to talk to you oh, today. Thank you. So thanks for coming in. Tell us a little bit about the beginning of your journey and the short amount of time that you've been crowned, what yes. you've been doing. Yeah, so I was crowned on June 29th, just a little bit over two and a half weeks ago, and it's been totally <laughs> a whirlwind, but one of the most exciting times of my whole life. Um, as soon as you're crowned, you meet all your new sponsors for the year, which is one of the greatest gifts, and then you get a car from Cox Chevrolet, which is incredible, and you begin to zigzag across the entire state. So you are busy starting day one, but it is so exciting. It's a full-time job, and I can't wait for the rest of the year. And you know, I love the Miss America organization and everything that it does for young women, the scholarship yes. money and all that, but so many people don't realize this is a job, and Absolutely. part of your job is spreading awareness of your platform. Mm -hmm. So what are you talking about this year? Yeah, so my personal social impact initiative is called Brave and Beautiful. It's a universal message that empowers young women to live, love, and lead courageously. And one of the outlets of Brave and Beautiful is that's a conference for young women by young women. So I've traveled all across the state as well as domestically and internationally and have spread this conference and have really focused on struggles that young women face today. And we just open up a conversation for these women to have a one-on-one -on -one back and forth and just tell each other like we are in this together and empowering them in their identity and in their worth. What are some of the struggles that you've seen some young girls going through? I yeah. mean, a lot of it I know has to do with social media. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. One of that, our social media is one of our main messages. Actually, this past year, we spread a message called overcoming the image trap. And I think so often we can find our image and our identity and how many likes and comments and um, followers we get. And so really having that message and going straight into these schools and these girls' homes and in these sororities and showing girls that our identity is not in our social media profile, but instead who we are at our core. And, you know, talking about image, so many people, you and I were talking about this in the green room, don't yes. realize everything that goes mm -hmm. into pageant competition and your competition, scoring is based so much on talent right. and interview. So what do you want people to know maybe who, that they don't know about the Miss America organization? Right. A lot of people look at it as a beauty pageant and as culture is evolving, so is the Miss America pageant. We are now called Miss America 2.0 and we're focusing now on who the woman is, their intellect, their worth inside of them and giving each woman more of an opportunity opportunity to speak on stage. And so it's so exciting because people now get to see that we are not just beautiful on the outside, but we are beautiful on the inside. We have talents and we have intelligence. So I'm really excited to showcase that on the Miss America stage coming soon. And we're looking at some pictures there. Your talent is lyrical yes. dance. Yes, Tell us about that. Yes, so I've been dancing since the age of seven at Shooting Stars in Claremont, Florida. <laughs> yes, oh, I've beautiful. absolutely loved dancing. I actually just graduated with a dance major at the University of Alabama. And so it's so incredible to have another stage and opportunity to share for my love for the performing arts and I can't wait and it's kind of a dream come true that I get to do that um, <laughs> yes. Miss America coming soon. I'm a big uh, ballet dancer oh, fan. I, I actually it. work as a bar instructor oh, so cool. just for fun yeah. and so to see you doing all of that I mean you can tell that you are an yes. athlete. Thank it's you. Really yes, cool it truly is an like athletic sport plus an art. And that's why I have such an appreciation for dancers and artists because it is not easy. And as I'm getting older, <laughs> it becomes harder, but it really is an incredible way to kind of share my heart with the audience. And so we don't have a date yet for the date. Miss America mm -hmm. 2.0 pageant, but we're thinking maybe September. It's typically in September, It right? usually is in September, but I believe it won't be in September this year. However, we do know it will be aired live on NBC. So tune in whenever it is, we'll be able to share with the public, um, but we will be on live television, which is super exciting. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we have a very good history with Miss Florida's yes. becoming Miss America, of course. Erica Dunlap, 2004. Mm -hmm. So, incredible. How are you feeling going into Miss America? I am so out? excited. I have the best board and the best people supporting me. And so I know they're going to sharpen me and get me to where I need to be for Miss America. And I really just can't wait to get fully prepared and fully ready. And it's right around the corner, really. So, I'm getting so excited. Yeah. We'll yeah. be rooting for Thank you. you so yes. Thank you so much. We're so excited. You're going to be fabulous. <laughs> Thank you.